Winds in the east, mist coming in, like something is brewing and about to begin. Can't put my finger on what lies in store, but I fear what's happened or happened before. It's really, really windy out, and I can't find my umbrella, my Mary Poppins umbrella. So I'm a little nervous. Heaven is kind of like a franchise, just like any other company. They issue you things, and if you lose it, you get in trouble. Well, you get in trouble like when Satan lost Sodom and Gomorrah, and God came in and asked, um, where's Sodom and Gomorrah? And everybody just pointed at Satan, and that's why he's down here. Yeah, so I really need to find that umbrella. But it is extremely windy out. It is blowing everything every which way. It's much windier than a poo day. Yes. But we are approaching Memorial Day weekend. And I want to remind everybody Memorial Day weekend is to remember those who sacrificed for their countries. Soldiers and women soldiers, and, and since Molly Pitcher, we've always had women on the front lines, whether people want to admit it or not. They served in the Civil War because it was that or starved to death. They dressed as men. During the World War II, women pilots tested all the planes that were used to go overseas and fight the battles. So that meant women pilots had to be able to fly as good as any male pilot there was because that plane had to twist and turn and they're the ones who tested them. So women and men have been defending your country since the dawn of time, since the first human picked up a rock and said this is mine and i am prepared to fight for it and that's what memorial day is you're thanking these people who have made ultimate sacrifices back in the day not so many lived through war because you didn't have mass units like in korea and then they only got better. Now, somebody gets blown up on a battlefield, chances are they're going to live through it, but they're really going to be damaged from it. So this Memorial Day, please remember those who gave all, those who gave some, and those who will never be the same again. Every soldier, man or woman, loses something in the battle. There's nobody in the corner saying, hey, there's ammunition over there. There are no second lives, like in video games. Everybody loses something. Everybody sacrifices something. Please remember that this Memorial Day coming up. I don't know. I don't think we're going to be doing a picnic. Nobody wants to get together because everybody's scared to death. They're going to get me sick and I'm going to die. Yes, I'm going to die anyway, but they're trying to slow it down. <laughs> it's nice of them to think of that though, right? Yes. This Memorial Day, remember, the country is fighting for its life. Every country is fighting for its life right now. So picnics aren't a real huge, big deal. Uh, getting drunk and pissing on your neighbor's lawn isn't the point of Memorial Day, just like it's not the point of St. Patrick's Day or any other holiday. Be safe out there, guys. If you're going to go to the beach, be smart about it. And God bless all those who have sacrificed their countries. I think this is day 64 or 65. Coronavirus lockdown. Alamo.